Buenos dias, señoritas y señoritos. I want to greet you all a happy Valentine's Day. That's why iba naman ang vlog natin ngayon. Baka sabihin nyo, itong si Vat, puro toxic politics na lang dinidiscuss. Wala na bang, wala, wala na bang happy life ito? Pa, wala, hindi ba, ganit ba ito sa mundo? Puro, puro na lang uh, katiwalian dito, kapalpakan dito na pinupuna niya. Uh, hindi ba siya happy sa buhay? Hindi ba siya contento sa buhay? Happy nga po tayo. In, uh, especially sa family life natin with my children, with my uh, wife, si Anne, coming from the Sahi family, from Shasi. Uh, she's a Tausug uh, while I'm a Christian. And then happy rin tayo sa mga travels natin at saka sa mga negosyo natin. That's why uh, ngayon I will share to you an old video which I did when I was still starting in the uh, blogging world. I was then blogging about uh, wala akong intention maging political blogger kasi uh, that, uh, during the COVID pandemic I just wanted to leave behind a video of myself para sabi ko for posterity. Kung matepok ako sa, sa, sa COVID at least my grandchildren makikita yung video ko na nagsasalita na buhay na buhay. Kasi nung nireview ko yung mga video ko of, of the family, uh, puro, puro wala ako kasi ako tagakuha ng, ng mga video. So nakita ko yung mga picture na pinapagalaw, pinapakanta si Abraham Lincoln. Ganun. Sabi ko ayoko ganun. Gusto ko buhay na buhay tulad ganito. So I started doing video about my family, about my garden, about my uh, landscaping work na ginagawa ko doon uh, sa garden ko, plantito stuff and everything. So ito, ito isa sa mga video na ginawa ko uh, during the 2019 ata, va uh, Valentine's Day or uh, 2020 Valentine's Day. At uh, this is about um, how me and my wife were married for four times. <laughs> we, we, uh, we had uh, four marriage um, marital ceremonies. Ha? Very unique po, very unique at... Uh, Uh, nilagay ko pa ng mga pictures, nilagay ko pa. So, watch the uh, watch watch uh, this video if you want uh, a unique uh, Valentine story or Valentine Valentine's team lalo na yung mixed religion union tulad namin ng asawa kong kong si Ann. At uh, watch uh, watch the video and because you will not only gain insight from a mixed marriage like ours, but also uh, you will feel that you have traveled with us in the places where we traveled and where, where we were also married four times, four times. So this is a very interesting, funny, and a very unique, unique love and travel story. So watch out for, for it. Ito na po ang video. And if you like the video, please share it uh, itong Valentine's Day to friends and relatives. And thank you very much uh, uh, for uh, 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 supporting my page. And don't forget to tell your friends na hindi pa subscribers natin to subscribe to the Blogcaster Armandin YouTube channel. So, eto na po ang video. Enjoy it. And that is, as you read the title right, me and my wife Anne were married not once, not twice, not thrice, but four times. I married my wife four times. How did it happen? I will tell you how. But before that, please subscribe to the Blackcaster Armandine YouTube channel. Because in this channel, you will hear or you will see funny, adventurous, and fun-filled stories that are true, that are real, and that is happening in my family. Because I have a very unique family. And this is a family that loves adventure. This is a family that loves to travel. So we will tell you all about it. But first... 
the biggest thing about our family is the uniqueness. We are not a normal family. We are a very unique family. And the reason is because I am a Christian, I am a Catholic, and my wife, Anne, is a Tausug Muslim. So you can see, this is one, two words under one roof. So every video you see from me, some of it may involve these stories about this very unique family. And what makes our relationship unique is the fact that from the beginning, me and Anne already decided to keep our religion. She keeps her religion as a Muslim and she, I, I kept my religion as a Christian. And we respect and we understand each other. So, but the road to that is very unique. And I will tell you this, our stories beginning from our marriage. So, the first marriage happened in Sambuanga City in October 1995. We were married at the St. Anthony Mary Claret Parish Church in Baliwasan, Sambuanga City. And the, the one who officiated the Mass was Claritian priest Angel Calvo. And it was very gracious and very helpful and generous of Father uh, Calvo to even assist us in securing a bishop's dispensation for a mixed marriage. You see, the Catholic Church also gives a dispensation. It, it li like a permission to allow uh, um, Catholics to marry outside the religion. But later, I will uh, uh, deal more about that in my future blogs. So, that, that was where we had the Catholic marriage with, with all the complete uh, rites and ceremonies and uh, in a church and officiated by a priest. And after that, the second marriage occurred. And that was, as agreed by me and Anne, we got married and officiated by an imam or a Muslim religious leader. And uh, uh, as an addendum, I would like to tell you that uh, not only did, did we get married under Muslim rites, but we, our children also got baptized both in uh, Catholic and Muslim rites. So that's how understanding we are. But uh, now comes the funny part. So the third marriage is very unique and very funny. And, uh, and quite even an adventure, I would say. So, our third marriage happened at the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, no less. Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. So, if our early first and second marriage was, uh, you know, not, not uh, grand, but at least our second was something very unique and and very colorful, and and as well as the fourth. So, in the Hashemite Kingdom of, Go of Jordan, the biggest attraction is Petra, meaning the rock. This is a uh, a, a Roman uh, trading post. Uh, but before uh, it became a, it was uh, inhabited or it was uh, overtaken or occupied by the Romans. It has been the community or the place of the people called Nabateans who, who live in the place from 7,000 7, BC or before Christ. So it became a prosperous place uh, as you can see from this stone Petra and because it, uh, it, uh, it is a, uh, it is the root to the trading areas between Jordan, Israel, and Egypt. So they, they became so wealthy and, uh, and uh, eventually the Romans conquered them. So they worship gods and goddesses during the pre-Islamic era. So to, to them, uh, 
before they were converted to uh, Islam, they were believers in their own God and uh, in their own Greco-Roman uh, world. So, it was during that trip that our Jordanian tour guide brought us to a square, to an area with a, with a square, uh, a square mound of stone because it turned out that's what, that was the shape of the Nabataean gods. So, and he married us. He married us. And he said that the marriage, the very ceremony, ceremony was done in the presence of the pre-Islamic Islamic Arabian god Dusares or worshipped by the Nabataeans. And uh, uh in in their in uh, in their own language they call him Dusrara the, the god of fertility power and uh, and uh, and might and wealth so and also uh, the, our uh, tour guide said that he also married us to the goddess Alat or the goddess of spring or and fertility. So, you, you see how unique it was. Uh, our third marriage happened to a pre-Islamic god or a god with a small g. So, you know, and, and this happened while we were making our way to Petra, which is really a wonderful and enchanting place. Of course, I will I will give a a, 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 a I will make a video about it later on. And our fourth and last marriage also happened in uh, the area now we call we now call Holy Land, because we were then on a in a uh, holy pilgrimage. It was really my gift to my mother Ida Nokum, who is a very religious person, and I thank her for that for you know uh, giving me the faith, uh, the piety I really need in my kind of world. In my material and world made up of big business and politicians. So I, I, I somehow I kept I kept my faith along along that kind of troublesome world. So Anwar accompanied us because my mom was having health problems. And you know, I, I, it was only two years that I had my uh, 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 angioplasty. So Anne came with us, and I, I thank her for that. And uh, and so, as arranged by our tour guide, it was there that uh, everyone in the tour had to be married again. Uh, we were all mostly Catholics in the in our tour group, mostly from the Philippines, and we had our wedding, our fourth wedding, I think at the wedding church at Cana. This church was built by the Franciscan Order in 1881 and it was to commemorate the miracle of our Lord Jesus Christ as depicted in the Gospel of John. And this is the miracle of God, of Jesus Christ turning water into wine in a Jewish wedding ceremony in Cana where Mary and he, he and his apostles attended. And uh, during the wedding, there was no more wine, and uh, and uh, Jesus and Mary asked Jesus to you know to make a miracle of, out of the wine, and Jesus responded, but that his time has not yet come, he had not yet come to make miracles, but being a dutiful son, he he mirac he converted, he turned the the water into wine and uh, it was believed to have happened in this place located at the uh, at northern Israel and uh, to them it is known as Kafer Kana so Cana so this is very significant to us Catholics because this is the very first miracle performed by Jesus Christ on, 
although, although we know he performed lots of miracles, but this is the very first, and this is the great significance of this, because it is here, from here on, that people started to really believe that he is the Son of God. So, this is a very, very beautiful church, and uh, you, you can see from, from around the place, and even from under the church, there remains a synagogue, so you can see even, even the Jewish honored this place as a holy place, and what, what was uh, the biggest attraction there, and now is the, is the, is a jar, is the, is a, why, it's a huge wine jar, where you can write uh, wishes, wedding wishes, and put it in the jar. So, uh, that, that's where our fourth marriage took place, and we were accompanied by a bishop, no less, and uh, an archbishop, for that matter, and, and a priest. So, they officiated the Mass for us, and it is it was very unique Mass with... Uh, and it is it is very memorable, very significant. Imagine from uh, from a uh, from a uh, Nabatean, from Dushrara, no, from Dushrara to a wedding uh, to a God Almighty Jesus Christ, and no less than in the place where Jesus Christ performed his miracle. The, the church, that's why it's known as the wedding church at Cana. So, there you have it. Unbelievable but true. Four marriages. Other people marry four times, but to four different wives. But I married to one wife. And maybe that's, uh, that's how I end this video by saying that, uh, you know, it really doesn't matter if you if you marry under or before Jesus Christ, before God, or be, before Allah, uh, peace be upon Him, or Buddha, or in our case the Nabatean God Dushrara or Alat. The what is important is uh, love, respect, and understanding of the married couple so it's uh, all we're almost going to our 30th year and it's been a uh, a uh, not a bed of roses but it has been a beautiful unique marriage we have we have we had our share of ups and downs but uh, we, we made it through and uh, maybe uh for life because <laughs> i'm stuck maybe it's uh Anne's way of uh, making me uh, stay in this marriage because I used to be a playboy. Or it may be just fate or it may just be a, uh, a cosmic uh, fate. And uh, we're happy. We always look back to the marriages, to, to, the, to the marriage, to the memories of those four marriages. And memories is, is still to come and memories that will last a lifetime. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for sharing our me memories. And uh, please again, subscribe uh, to the Blackcaster Armandin YouTube channel. And if you know people who are having a hard time being in a mixed marriage, Protestant, Catholic, Iglesia, Catholic, or Muslim, Christian, please share this to them. Inter-religious inter marriage is possible. An interreligious marriage is fun. Interreligious marriage is beautiful. So thank you. Good day and advance. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone.